y'all. He took it from y'all because y'all didn't do what he said. Because y'all, he was your head and you was my head, okay? And so if they got women out here wearing panties, or women out here showing their cleavage, or women out here doing all this other stuff, it's because you men didn't do what God told y'all to do. He didn't give it to us, he gave it to y'all. And Dominican is Simeon, right? right. The uh, island that y'all dwell on, the island that you come from, is the island of Hispaniola, right? Yeah. Don't the Haitians dwell on one side and the Dominicans, don't they dwell on the other side? Yeah. Right. That's why they call them brothers, because they don't dwell on the same island, right? All right. Read. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. So the, the so-called Haitians, the so-called Levi, they practice voodoo. Can you tell me what y'all, like, practice? Oh, which I used to practice Santa Maria. Maria? Maria, yeah. Yeah, that's instruments of cruelty. That's what the Bible is talking about. That's how you know that you are from the tribe of Simeon. Because that's what y'all practice, right? I right. used to practice. Read. Verse 6. Oh, my soul, come not thou into their secret. All right, read. Until their assembly, mine honor, be not thou united. So the Haitians and the Dominicans, they don't give a they don't get along. Even though they dwell on the same island, they're not gonna get along. That's right. the curses that come upon us right now. Bring and I'm gonna show you that the curses in this Bible fit me as well as you. Yeah. Alright, read. All right. For in their anger they yeah. slew a man. Bring it out! Verse 15. So, I have a question. I know Trump, right? What is Trump doing to the Northern King? What is Trump doing to the so-called Mexicans today? Like he can't, he's trying to build a wall to keep anybody that's not American out, right? Yeah. Don't that just make you mad? It's, it's like American. He, he, he don't, he don't like nobody that's not American. Yeah. And that's a curse on our people. Right. Just think about yeah. it like this. The Mexicans, the so-called Mexicans, the so-called Native Americans, we had this land first. Bring it out! The so-called white man came over here and stole it from us. And they called it their land. But how is it that we can't get back into land that's naturally ours? That's right. That don't make no sense. That's a curse on our people. Read. Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if my brother right here, if we don't, if you don't listen to the most high God, if I don't listen to the most high God, let's see what's gonna happen. Read. To observe to do all his commandments. All his commandments. We have to keep his commandments, because we are the Israelites. Right. Yes, sir. What do they say about um, the tribes of Israel? You say you're from Dominican, right? Yeah. You are Simeon. You're from the tribe of Simeon. Yeah. So you are a chosen people. Right. You with me? Yeah. All right, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses 
shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, now give me verse 32, because I'm going to show you a curse that's fitting our people today, especially our Nordic kingdom brothers, especially the so-called Issachar, Simeon, Zebulon, and Gad. I'm going to show you a, a, a curse that fits y'all. Read. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So my bro, don't they do that now? Is there Trump doing that now with the ICE program? Aren't they taking away the, the children and bring them somewhere else? Bring it out! To this day, that goes into the curses if we don't come, if we don't keep the most high God's law. That's right. You with me? So yeah. we have to come back to this law. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Teach. So we can't do nothing. When the Issachar rights, when their children get taken away, they can't do nothing about it. You see what I'm saying? That's curse. That's why we have to come back to the most like God's law. You Now you know, if, if you uh, if somebody asks you, what's your um, nationality? You're not gonna tell them Dominican. You're gonna tell them Simeon. You're, yeah. from the, you're from the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. You with me? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm, gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some laws right quick, bro. Give me Numbers 15, verse 38. Bring it out. You see these things on our shirts right here? Yeah. It's called friendship. You should be familiar with that. The Israelites wear them. You see what I'm saying? We supposed to all our shirts have fringes on them. We have to wear even gay. As a matter of fact, even the Native Americans. Even they wore fringes. You see what I'm saying? So this has always been our custom. Always. Right. Read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Teach. Speak unto um how you say name? Sem Sem Selbian. So speak unto Selbian. And let's see what Selbian has to do. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So you, hold on. So you have to make fringes in the borders of your garments. Are you married? Yeah. So your wife, does she know how to sew? Okay, well, let her learn how to sew. That way you'll be able to sew the fringes onto your clothes. Yeah. You and her. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. I, I stay, because I'm not speaking. I'm not speaking. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. So you have to get the fringes, bro. That's one of the commandments. It's a commandment for us to wear the fringes. Yeah. Right. Read. Throughout their generations. So throughout the generations, do you have kids? Do you mind me asking? Yeah. You got kids? So yeah. even your kids have to wear fringes. And when they get older and have kids, their kids have to wear fringes. Yeah. It's a generational thing. It has to keep going. Read. And then they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So we got to put a ribbon of blue upon our fringes. You see, all our shirts, we all have a certain kind of blue. We, that's what the children of Israel have to wear. You are right. Yeah. All right. Read. Verse 39, and it shall be unto you for a friend, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them. So, so we have to do that. So, because let's say we go to buy some pork, right? You don't look down and see our friend. Oh, man, I can eat that pork. That's the most high God commandment. You see what I'm saying? The friend is on us, so we remember the most high God's law. That's right. All right. All right. See what yeah. I'm saying? Let yeah. me give you another one. You go to Cajuns often? Go to 11 and 7. Yeah. 11 and 7. Leviticus 11 and 7. Do you know that they sell crabs, crawfish, shrimps, and lobster there? You know that they sell catfish, crabs, you know, we familiar with that. Do you know we're not supposed to eat that? New Orleans is known for eating crawfish and crabs in the season, right? Right. Did you know we're not supposed to eat that? Teach. All right, read. I'm going to show you, right? I'm going to show you in the Bible that we're not supposed to eat that. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And that's why, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chew it not the cod. So the so the swine, right? A swine is a pig. It don't matter what kind of pig it is. It could be a uh, a hog, a hog, uh -huh. uh -huh. stuff like that, right? All that is swine. We got the place to eat of that. Right. That's unclean. Because if you put a dead body in front of a pig, if you put trash in front of a pig, it'll eat that. That's yeah, right. What? It's not gonna sweat. So all that stuff, all that gunk that's inside yeah. of it, is gonna stay in there. That's what they do. They Jeez. catch it, kill it, and they put it on our plate, and they call it a delicacy. But the Most High like God say that's an abomination unto us. That's right. We're supposed to eat that as an unclean animal. So that goes into pork chops, bacon, ham, stuff like that, right? Get out! All right, now give me verse uh, 9. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 9. 
These shall you eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever had fans and scales in the waters. So, the stuff that have fans and scales, like bass, trout, salmon, stuff like that, right? We can eat those things because they have fans and scales. Like, you have a fish that saw like a, a, a bass or a salmon, they have fins and they also have the scales on them, right? All right. But let's see what the most I can say about the other creatures in the water. Bring it up. All right. First look. First look. They shall be even an abomination unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, but you should. You want verse 10? 12. 14. Verse 10. And all that have not fins and scales in the sea and in the river. So the stuff that don't have fins and scales, let me ask you a question. Sure. Does it have fins and scales? You ever see like a shark and it go up and you see the fin, right? That's a fin. And if you look at a bag, you see the scale. The little things that be on it, that's, that's scale. A shrimp does not have that. Right. Crawfish. Right. Does a crawfish have fins and scales? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Crawfish don't have neither one. It right. doesn't have fins, nor it doesn't have scales. See, okay. you see me? The All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's All right, yeah, he's said bottom. And, uh, bro, bro, we have people that can translate that from you. We have people like you and over here. So, if you have any questions, give us a call, bro. All right, cool. Make sure you take that fly out, bro. All right. Give me Exodus 35 and 3. Because I'm going to show you all that today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Bring it out. supposed to cook Bring it out. Sabbath day. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 35 and verse 3. You shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation. So we're not supposed to kindle a fire upon our habitations. We're not supposed to cook no hot meals on the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. We got to eat cold foods today. Right. Like cold sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly, crackers, stuff like that. Right. We can't eat nothing hot today. Read, give me Exodus 16, 23. I'm going to show y'all that it's talking about food. Because, of course, if you're cold on the Lord's Sabbath day, you can turn on the heater and get yourself warm, but you still can't put nothing in the microwave. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 16, and verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord had said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So Moses, so Moses is talking to the Israelites, and it's Friday morning. And he's saying, Tomorrow is the Lord's Sabbath day. How's it going, sis? You got a question? What you got? Are we changing stuff? Yes. yes. We're waking our people up to show them who they really are. That's the right. That's we're right. showing them that we're not just Negro, that we're not just black people. We Israelites. We God's chosen people. But, but is anything changed? Yes. We changed a lot of stuff. We changed a lot of stuff. We have to. Let me let you know something, sis. Six years and ago, let me just, hold on, hold on. Six years ago, Bible, none of these says, brothers was here. Six the years Bible, ago. So six years ago to now, all of these brothers are standing right here. They're going ahead. Yes, they did. You're going to be rewarded. Give me uh, Proverbs 1. 1 and 20. I'm going to let you know something, sis. What we're doing, we do according to the scriptures. Because the Bible said to go out and cry in the midst of the highways and hedges. That's right. The scriptures say wisdom cried through the streets. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Bring it so out. we are in the streets teaching the people something that the Christian pastors do not do. Right. They don't go to the hood. They don't go to the ghetto. They don't go to where it's grimy. They don't go to where there was just a murder. They don't go to where there was just killing. They don't go to where there was gang violence. Right. They don't go to where there's drug use. They stay right back safe and don't say nothing. But the prophets of the Most High God, we go out in the streets. That's yeah, right. right. The prophet Paul did, just like Peter. Right. Just like James, just like all the other apostles. We go out to the street and teach the people. Teach. Hey, how's it going, sis? I see you were staring at the sign. So you got a question? You got a, what's your name, sis? My name's OJ. Noel. Noel? So, so Ms. Noel, if you look on the sign, what would you, what would you call yourself today? A two, um, I'm not the tribe of Judah. So that's oh, right. Crazy. right. You said the right answer. So now, that's the end of the tribe of Judah. What's commanded of us? Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And I'm going to show you what's commanded of you guys to know you from the tribe of Judah. Because, anybody ever called you a princess? Anybody ever called you that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Because you are a princess. That's no, right. You, you are a princess on this earth, but yet they treat us like dirt. You right. see what I'm saying? Read. I'm going to show you what you have to do in order to get back on top. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So when it say Israel, Miss Noel, it's talking about all 12 tribes. It's talking about you, and it's talking about me. Now let's see what the Most High God wants us to do. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. So we have to fear the Most High God. We have to walk in all his ways. And we have to do what else? And to love him. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So what all, what all did it say we have to do, Ms. Noel? What all did it say? Serve God with all your mind, your heart, and your soul. Right. So how do we do that, do you think? You do that by keeping his commandments and his law. Right, right. right. So you know, you know a little something, something, right? Read. 10 to 12, and then go to 13. Verse 13. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So to do what? Do what? To keep the commandments of the law. So just like you said, we have to keep the Most High God's commandments. That's right. So what are some commandments, Mr. Well? What are some commandments? The commandments are the, um, that's Thou shalt not kill. No, don't tell them something. Oh, okay, you're okay. going to ask me the question. You don't have to answer the question to ask me the question. All right, so what you got? Okay, the first one is the, um... Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Right, okay, that's one. Um, thou shalt not take the land, name of the Lord thy God in vain. Okay, that's two. Remember the Sabbath, keep it holy always. Yes, Honor Sabbath. thy father and thy mother. Right. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbors. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's goods and not thy neighbor's wife, and thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's goods. Okay, that's what all praises. So you know the ten. But do you know that there's more than ten commandments? I sure do. So I'm going to show you a commandment right quick. Give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. I'm going to show you another commandment that's not written in the Ten Commandments. But it still but goes all of them is to love everybody else? No, love everybody else like you love yourself? That goes into the uh, bottom three. That goes into like don't... The bottom three is well, to love your three. neighbor yeah. as you love thyself? Yeah, to think about it like this. If I love my brother, I'm not going to commit adultery with his wife. If I love this brother, I'm not going to cover that he has. You right. see what I'm saying? That's two commandments that go into that. Right. You with me? Teach! I see you got kind of confused. You no, I'm not confused. Oh, okay, all right. Because from my understanding is that you have to, you got to love everybody, your sister, as well as your, your brother. Okay. I mean, Read. if you have love this for is the everybody, of First Corinthians. you're not going to commit adultery with nobody. Right. You're but not going to cover nothing with right no quick. one. Read, 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 read. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye fathers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Who is me? Paul. I'm talking about Paul. Paul, writ, Paul wrote most of the New Testament. So he right. follows of me as I will follow of Christ. Read. Read verse 3. But I will have ye know that the head of every man is Christ. So our head is Christ. Right. The most high God is going to give us an order right quick. Right. So our head is Christ. Right. Read. And the head of... Excuse me. And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the woman is the man. So, so far it's the woman, then it's man, then it's Christ. Right? You with me? Yeah. Read. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, read. And the head of Christ is God. All right, so the head of everybody is God. So the order is God, Christ, man, and woman. Teach. So do you understand that? Yes. Okay, all praises. What's your question? God, okay. question. My question is this. So, L, the head is God, then Christ, then man. So, so just, just say that man don't follow Christ. And then the man, wait, and that man is the woman's head. So, is that woman supposed to still follow that man that's nope. the head that is not doing what Christ wanted him to do? Did not say leave that man. Oh, okay. You did not say leave Give me verse that one again. Head, that head that posted that. This is the book of First Corinthians. Chapter oh, 11, verse okay. 1. Talk. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. So, what's the stipulation here? Okay. He what's the stipulation? The, 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 the stipulation is he said, follow Christ. 
might call this file in Christ. Exactly. Right. So but my the, question the, the, was, the, the, go wait ahead, wait 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 talk. The order is God, Christ, man, woman. If the man is not following Christ, which a lot of men are not, that man has to be taught. Because who do they see? Look at this picture over here. Who do a lot of black men see as Christ nowadays? The white guy. Okay. Now, with the white guy, what comes with that? That comes with God say love everybody. That comes with, oh, I don't have to follow God's laws. That comes with, oh, that's the New Testament. I don't have to do that no more. Right. That comes now, with I don't, homosexuality. I don't but, I don't but listen, that. listen, it may, it may not be that you don't believe it. Uh -huh. A lot of majority of our people collectively do believe it. Right. So you individually. Don't have, they don't have proper business. And like you said, God is, um, Christ is the head of the man, and the man is supposed to be the head of the woman. So if the man go astray, and then he, he has submission over that woman, and he making that woman go astray because he has these four nine. Because that man is doing what he's not supposed to do in Christ. Now, so to okay, a degree, wait, I understand wait, 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 what you're wait. talking about. So wait a minute. So that man is the head of that woman, right? And if that that woman don't have no control of doing nothing, but what that man tell her to do, and that woman cannot depart from that man. Even if that man departs from her to go with another woman. Because she can't get away from that husband unless okay. that husband dies. Okay. Even if that husband leaves her okay. and commits adultery and come back to her again, okay. she have to still submit to that husband because that's her husband. So if that's not that man leaving that woman astray, then when do that man that's supposed to do the right thing gonna ever do the right thing? Are you other men gonna step into that man vicinity and make him do the right thing? Wait, man, I'm, I'm talking. But listen, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let you I'm talk gonna, no, hold on, hold on. because you are the man. No, 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 well, let I, me be what I'm saying. Say, I just wanna say hello, nice you, to meet you. All so, right, wait, wait. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, and then when you're done talking, I'm gonna wait till you're done. I just. Kind greeting okay. goes a long way. Right. You look like you was a nice lady. So you I want to say like hello. Nice man. So now go ahead. Okay, now. Go ahead. So when who's gonna correct that man to come back and save that woman that's being abusive, that that man leading her to do the wrong thing? Are you brothers gonna get together and save that woman, even if that woman is not with y'all? Who gonna save that woman and her children from all them bad things happening to her? Are you done? Because I don't want to interrupt you. Are you done? That's cool. No, but, but with yeah, all respect. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. All done? respect. Okay. Now, all respect. First thing, I want to I want to show you that in the Bible it speaks about it. Give me first. What else? First Samuel 25 verse one. Bring it out. So this in the Bible. Give, give me Romans 15 verse four first. Bring it out. So you have a very good point, and I and I note that. I was listening. I said, the sister got a good point. A woman that's doing godly things, like for example, women that are not dressed provocatively, not committing adultery, right? Not showing their cleavage, like not walking around, parading around, being disrespectful in society, right? A godly woman who's being mistreated by a man, right? The Bible actually speaks about that. Let me share with you. Romans 15 and 4 first. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. So Paul, you're familiar with Paul, right? Paul told us to always go back and learn. Read this, come on. For whatsoever things were written the four times. Paul told us, because remember, Paul was a follower of Christ. He said, listen, whatsoever things were written way back then, during the time of Genesis, during the time of Samuel and Judges and Jeremiah and the prophets of the old, right, read on. Were written for our learning. So you have a very good point. Now I'm going to teach you and give you the understanding so you can learn that there are examples of sisters that did right by their husbands their husbands went off, and God fought for them. I'm going to show you that. Watch this. Read 25 and 1. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 25 and verse 1. Now, the reason why we go here is because we have to study this Bible. We've been, I've been studying this Bible for the last 12 years. And I came out of the Christian church not knowing three scriptures. So when the Most High showed me the understanding, my head has been in this ever since. Jump to verse 3 real quick. Verse 3. Now the name of the man was Nabal. So the name of this man was Nabal. And this man was not, he did not treat 
Sister Abigail, the prophet, is right. Read on. In the name of his wife, Abigail. So the sister's name is Abigail. So you do read the Bible quite clearly. You knew that. Read on. And she was a woman of good understanding. She had good understanding. Like, let me give an example. And I don't see, because you're probably old enough to be some of our mom. You look very, you look like you took care of yourself over the years. You really, you really do. And I mean that with a compliment. But when I said that, I wasn't being disrespectful. If you were my auntie or my mother, I'd be like, yo, ma, you cover that up. I, you should cover that up. And that's not being disrespectful. You should cover that up. And I don't mean any disrespect at all. Read on. And of a beautiful continent. Right, and you're a very lovely lady. You are a lovely lady. Okay, read on. But the man was churlish and evil. Churlish Ch and evil. So here's an example. Now I want to get to a point. Can you get, I, I can't remember the whole thing. Go ahead. Verse 40. And when the servants of David will come to Abigail to Carmel, they spake unto her, saying, David sent us unto thee to take thee to him to wife. Okay, right. See, if somebody do me a favor. Find a part. I want to get to a point where it shows that God stood up for her. My point is that we have an example of Abigail who was right by God. Her husband was wrong. He was churlish and he was, that means hateful. And the end of the story, God fought for Abigail. So look, if you got a sister that is in God. She's in Christ and she's not being treated right by her husband. What she has to do is do an Abigail. Be faithful. Be honor her husband. And God is going to judge that man. That's right. So that's the answer because guess what? We can't police be in every single person's house and say don't do this, don't do that. There's a God in heaven that watches everything. That, and guess there are sisters that are mistreated. That's wrong. That's wrong, sister. Come on. Verse 26. Now therefore, my Lord, as the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, seeing on. the Lord hath withholding thee from coming to shed blood, and from avenging thyself with thy own hand, now let thine enemies and they that seek evil to my Lord be as Nabal. So, so guess what? In the end, she was justified. Now, did she have to go through a trial? Yes, she did. Did she deserve that? God put her through something. You remember Joseph in the Bible? Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers. Did he deserve that? No, he didn't. But God put him through something for almost 20 years. So when the dirt came in Egypt, he was able to save and help his people. But it was wrong that happened to Joseph. So there's many wrongs that happen to black women in this earth and brothers as well. But we have to be faithful, keep the commandments of the God. I will fight for us. Right. That's what we got to do. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.